G'day everyone, Rising Fun Gaming here, and welcome to another episode. This time around, we're in the volcano, and we're tracking down the high rank Volvaton, who should be, if not in the next area, but the one after that. This being a high rank fight, we were dumped out right at the top randomly, and um, we don't have our map, so it's a little bit hard to navigate. Pretty sure he should be just south of here. Going in today, we've got a Gunlance again, so Gunlance users rejoice. The Volvodon series has certainly been for you, hasn't it? We are using it in striker style this time around. And you know what? I don't think I don't think he's where I thought he was. Ah, he's just around in the next area. Alright, well at least we get to take in the beautiful scenery of this volcanic map. It is very pretty, isn't it? Looking good on the DS. Of the three variety. <laughs> Woof. You know what? Just for a laugh, have a have a flash bomb too. Okay. Alright, striker style. What happens in striker style? Well, let's go through the bad. Well, some might pe some people might think it's bad. I'm not sure whether I dislike it or not. Pretty much you lose the downward slam and full shelling. <gasps> yes. In its place you get a triple poke on the ground, which is very reminiscent of your normal lance, isn't it? Boom, boom, boom. But we can combo through that triple poke very easily into a Wyvern firing. Which is kind of nice. This being Striker Star, we can put on three hunter arts. First one we've got here is Blast Dash 3. And that's a very fun one to use. It charges fairly fast as well, which is really cool. Sweet. So I can go poke. The thing is, because of the heat gauge mechanic, you don't really want to be doing your uh, weaving and fire until you've got it at the highest heat. If heat gauge wasn't a thing, I'd be doing these Wyvern Fires out of these triple pokes on the ground all the time. Assuming it was safe to do so. But it's not, and it's not very useful. So, that being the case, I don't know how I feel. So what I just did there is do a Wyvern Fire, and that's locked me in the coolest part of the gauge. Which means my cutting attacks are gonna really suck. But why would I do such a thing? That's silly RFG. Never fear. I'm going to introduce the other hunter art, this being Striker. We want to go through all the gun lance specific hunter arts, and this one is Dragon's Breath 3. Which you can max out your heat gauge at the top there. And if you do a little boo boo and you lock it where you don't want, or you overheat the gauge, you can correct it with this. When your heat gauge is in the red there, your cutting attacks are going to be at their strongest. But with this hunter art, it specifically also increases your shelling uh, power. So it's a really, really cool one. And people that saw the last video against the low rank would have already studied that. They would already know that. And those people that didn't watch that, they're going to be kind of going, Ha! Huh, we knew that. RFG Senpai told us all about that last time. And all the new people that rolled into class for the high rank, they're going to be like, Oh, oh our Senpais are so smart. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> In my defense, I'm recording this very late at night. Alright, so we got the Stank. You might notice that I tried to block his um, Stinky attack before. Which you can... You can block the knockdown effect of it, because it will knock you down ordinarily, but you can't block the gas giving you the uh, soiled status. Unless you've got a little hunter art called Guard Boost. That soiling will prevent you from using a great deal of your items. Um, most often those that are consumables. You don't want to consume stinky consumables, I guess. 
Okay, we've got another hunter art ready to go. But before I do that, I would rather like to get him in a trap. Or should I just yellow it? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's why you don't yellow it. Oh well, we got a barbecued bug. Oh no, he didn't die! He did not die. Amazing. That's a really cool one, the Blast Dash 3. I do enjoy doing that one and um, chaining it into the uh, full shelling. The full shelling isn't part of the Hunter Arts animation. You can choose to do it or not. And it being a um, jumping attack, technically, it does do mounting damage, so you can actually uh, get a mount through doing that uh, Blast Dash. Okay, so far so good. Into the next area with us. What I'm going to do now is consume something called a Hunter Art Drink, at least in the Japanese. And this is going to further increase our charge of our hunter art. Strike is really good because just like all other styles your hunter art gauge will charge upon hitting monsters but with striker and striker alone you'll also get some charge upon taking hits from monsters. Put that together with this um, hunter art drink. Oh I didn't get a good camera angle. And you're gonna have some pretty fast charging ones. Damn it. Alright. So I could possibly do a full burst by doing this. Oh! Oh no, I can't do that full burst jump. Because usually you can do a slam if you press the X button really soon before you jump off. But because the slam down attack is gone in striker style, they've taken it out of the jumping animation attack as well, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, well, I have to quickly do a series of shellings here. We want to put it to the max here. Alright, so now I want to show you how you can do that triple poke on the ground into a wyvern fire. We'll see how that looks. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, and you go straight into it. But I got interrupted, so we'll get. We'll have to try to do that again. Here, let's just do it here. The important thing is that I actually show it off. Hmm. Cool. As we've got Artillery King, you'll notice that the amount of distance that that bar on the heat gauge goes back upon doing a Wyvern Fire is very very small. Artillery has an additional effect in Monster Hunter Generations and, and that's it. If I didn't have Artillery it would probably have travelled back to the base of the red portion there so it does very good work. Very good work. Artillery both at the 10 point and 15 point at the, at the 10 point, it's going to travel at two thirds the distance it would usually travel within the red. This only applies to the red portion of the gauge. So when you're heating it up, it also affects it that way. Um, when you're heating it up in the red gauge, you've got to be very, very careful not to overheat. And artillery is going to give you a little bit more leeway. At the 10.1, it's going to travel at 66 or two thirds of the distance that it usually does. And at the 15 point mark, which is the maximum points for this armor skill in this game, it was 20 in for you. It's going to travel at half the speed, 50% the distance um, within the red portion of the gauge. He's already limping, cool. Well, I guess this is a water gun lance and we've been doing not too badly. Looks like I need a cool drink too. How about we uh, do
do all three of our hunter arts in the next area. Show off the true striker spirit. We'll pop down a little trap as well. This could be glorious. All right. For those that are curious, the gun lance that I'm using at the moment is the Deviant Daimyo Hermitor one. Okay. Dragon's Breath into Dragon's Blast. Get incinerated. And if I can just back down, back, back back into Blast Dash 3. Delish. And yeah, that's Striker style. It's kind of fun. Having all three of those Hunter Arts is nice. The, the Gunlance specific ones. And that's what you call panic. <laughs> Didn't know what the hell to do. Deer in the headlights. And we certainly took that. Fella is looking to go up to the top area with his Remobra pals. I think we'll um we'll put him out of his misery. Well, <laughs> that makes me that makes it sound like I'm gonna kill him. We'll put him out of his misery through giving him a little capture. And with this video we're going to have used Gunlance in all four styles and I definitely um, well if you're new to the game I wouldn't recommend you try Gunlance straight away because it's quite technical it can be but um, once you've got a little bit of confidence with the game definitely give the Gunlance a go it is super duper fun there's a bit of a learning curve to it there's lots of good information out there on YouTube with some nice weapon tutorials and check out reddit some good guides in reddit um, yeah it's a very very fun weapon to use once you get the hang of it and um, there's a good reason that the, it is nicknamed the fun lens so definitely try it out for yourself and maybe try it in striker style see how you like it that's gonna do for now that's a high rank Volvodon done and dusted